As I've started planning my 2019 race season, I've decided that for me, 2019 is gonna be a year without Ironman. Not just Ironman the distance, but Ironman the brand. So before I get too into the video, I will say that I do have nothing personally against Ironman. There's a lot of things that they do really well. There's a couple of things that I think that they could do better, but ultimately when you sign up for an Ironman race, you know that you're gonna get a really good high quality event. So why no Ironman in 2019? So first, when we talk about Ironman the distance, I've decided that I'm not gonna do a Ironman in 2019 because I did three Ironmans in 2018 and I really wasn't adequately prepared for any of them. I just wasn't putting in the long training that I needed to in order to really be able to go out there and have a great race. And a big part of that is because I was just kind of burnt out from doing the uh, the Ironman training year after year. Found that I was kind of getting into a rhythm and it wasn't really exciting me and really lighting that fire under me to get out and do those hard workouts. So by doing some shorter events and mixing it up and getting to race a lot more, that's something that really has excited me as I've got back into training for, uh, for this summer. And I think that that's something that'll really stoke the fire. And I'm sure at some point I'll do another Ironman, whether it's 2020, 2021, whenever it is, but I'm gonna do some events that really excite me. And right now for me, that's some shorter distance racing. So why not Ironman the brand? simply because there's a lot of really great independent races that exist out there that most people never find out about until they end up having to sell to Ironman and it becomes an Ironman event. So I know there's a lot of really great events out there because I've done a bunch of them. Like we have the Multisport Canada series, local to me. There's Barrel Man, there's the Montreal Demi Esprit, there's Wildflower, there's all sorts of really great events that exist that are really well supported in the local community, but outside of that, not a lot of people know about them. So that's why I'm asking for your help. I wanna find as many of these events as possible because I plan on racing a lot in 2019. I'd love to be able to do a tour and visiting all sorts of different communities and getting to experience their, uh, their local race scene. So if there's any races that you think that I really should be adding to my calendar in 2019, please reach out, whether it's with a comment below or sending me an email, I'd love to hear about those races. Ideally, they'd be driving distance from Toronto, so somewhere around eight hours is about the max that I'd be able to drive. But if there is a really great event, like for example, I've heard really good things about the Great White North Triathlon, which would be a flight for me to get there, then it's certainly a race that I'd consider as well. So thanks a lot for checking out this week's video. If you like what you see, you can click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this new crazy mother. Yeah.